Good morning, Pam. How are you doing? Today? All right. Since 1941, the United Service Organization, better known as the USO, has stood by American service members no matter where in the world they serve. Last week, USO centers around the world, including Fort Meads, celebrated their 80th birthday. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, the new Army maintenance app, commissary closes for inventory, and the ID card center has moved. These stories and more, but first, Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Chris Nyland hosted the first housing town hall of the year this week. Housing was the focus, but he opened with how the DOD policy implementing the Presidential Executive Order on Wearing Masks on Federal Installations affects Fort Meade. My team's drafting up a specific Fort Meade policy while, we'll wait, while we're waiting for Department of Army implementation guidance for the recent DOD uh, mask wear memo that was published earlier this week. In the interim, I'm enforcing the DOD standard in my organization and I'm asking all of my um, tenant organization commanders and all of you to do the same. The DOD policy is more restrictive than any we've had here on Fort Meade previously. It effectively says that from the minute that you enter the post until the time that you leave post, you're wearing a mask unless you're in your residence or a private office with the door closed. In other news, a couple of important moves to report. First, the Fort Meade ID Card Center is now located on the first floor of Building 4550, the large building at the end of McLaughlin Parade Field. It's easy to find if you go through the main doors just across from the parade field. The ID Card Center is located through the first doors on the right. Once again, the Fort Meade ID Card Center's new address is the first floor of 4550 Parade Field Lane. And if you're getting ready to make your own move, the Transportation Personal Property Office and the Official Travel Office are now co-located with the ID Card Center in Building 4550. The offices are located in rooms 134 and 135. Elsewhere, soldiers living in the barracks can now file and track maintenance orders with the convenience of an app on a cell phone. Welcome to the Army Maintenance Application, or as we like to call it, ARMA. Today we're going to show you how to submit a maintenance request. For users who have confirmed their registration, you'll log on at armymaintenance.com or you can connect to ARMA through your digital garrison app by clicking the link. After logging in this landing page, you will select maintenance support. Depending on the type of problem you have, select the type of maintenance service you need. For this example, we're going to select plumbing. After selecting the maintenance service on the next screen, you will see that your location is already pre-filled based on your registration. You can add details such as floor and room to the location. And then you can give a good description of the maintenance issue. An important reminder from the commissary, they're conducting an inventory Tuesday and Wednesday, March 9th and 10th. The store will close for both those days. Signs are being posted with the closure information. Also, stay tuned to our social media platforms for any further information. Meanwhile, on February 1st, the Air Force Services Center in San Antonio launched the Air Force Gaming League, a global gaming esports competition. It's an intramural esports league with teams from virtually every Air Force installation around the world. Although team signups for the new league are over for this season, league officials say that new members are always needed to fill in existing teams. Additionally, anyone with a .mail email address can participate. For more information, go to airforcegaming.com. And finally this week, we close with a portion of a special performance from the U.S. Army Field Band in celebration of African American Black History Month. You can watch the complete video on our Facebook page. That's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann for everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office. Have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. Sing the rhyme.